Yo, yeah, man. Ah. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy LB, and welcome to my new tutorial video. And today, in this video, we're gonna hey, we're gonna kill some enemies. I'm gonna show you how I made this effect inside After Effect. Stick around. Yeah, man, guys, for this effect, first you have to download this green screen, smoke, and gun sound effect. Yeah, maybe that is it. Those are three main things you have to download. So, first, let me show you the original creep which I'm going to use. This one. Yes. So the result you have been seen. So now let's jump on inside the software. And then we're gonna see how to boom. So this is how my clip is. Okay, I shot the three times. Okay, uh, one, two, three. So now we're gonna import the fire video, which I'm going to put it into this video. So now let me import it. Okay, this is the fire video it was on a green screen or it can be on a black screen because there is no problem so now let me import it drag it here on this timeline okay so this is how my fire is okay of the gun so now let me go and find where this fire it will be okay see here Okay, here. So now let me bring this fire here. Okay. So when I play, let me pull it behind. Okay. So first, I'm going to remove this green color. So now come here on effect, then search the effect called the key light key light one two okay so now drag it here on this layer so now use this icon to remove this green color when i click on it the green color is disappeared okay so now guys use this tool this pan behind aka point to move this aka point behind this fire okay so now move this fire here on this on this gun mouth okay so when i play let me check okay i have to put this fire one step backward just like this okay one step backward okay okay so this is how my fire it is so now I'm going to rotate my fire. You see how this gun is rotating, it's looking up. So now I'm going to rotate this fire. So by opening up this fire layer, and this transform this rotation, okay? So when I'm trying to move this fire just like this, okay? This is cool. Yep. So now when I pray, let me check. Okay, this is. Oh my god, it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me add, let me add the second one. It cause let me, I think it is two bullets, okay? I'm going to duplicate this fire layer by control press D here on the keyboard, okay? So now let me move. No. Yes, let me move behind just like this. Okay, I can move this fire. You want fire here? The other one here too, okay? 
So when I play, okay, guys, you see, this is two bullets, okay? Papa, yeah, that is it, man, okay? So now let me add on the third one too. Okay, here on this. So now let me duplicate again this fire. Control press D and then move this layer here. Mm -hmm. So now you have to move down here on this gun mouth and then use the rotate to rotate your fire. Sorry, click here and then open up this rotation just like this, okay. When I play, okay, yeah, this is cool, man. Just like this, okay. Let me rotate when I play. Puff, yeah, man. Okay, we remains one bullet, yeah, one fire. So now again, duplicate this fire layer by Control Press D, and then move. Let me find this one. Yeah, okay, it is okay. Move this fire here down. Okay, and make sure to rotate your fire where gun where the gun is looking. Okay. So now let me pray. Okay. It's right, small, little bit. Okay. This one. This is cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, this one is not cool. Let me rotate again. Okay. So, okay. let me pray. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, man. That is it, okay? So, now, guys, the second one, I'm going to add the, the grow. You know, when you show the, the bullet, the fight will blink the right, okay? So, now, I'm going to duplicate this footage. Control press D, okay? Let me put one here on the top of this fire, okay? So now go here on effect and then first search the effect called the tint, okay? Drag it here and then search another effect called curve. The curves, <coughs> drag it here <coughs> on this layer, okay? So now let me increase let me increase this highlight just like this okay yeah this is cool then back again and then search again the effect called the tint okay the second time then put it here sorry put it here okay let me cross this curve okay so now these on this map white, I'm going to change the color into yellow. You know how the fire is. How the fire or oh, oh, how the gunshot gunshot fire is. Yeah, this is cool. Click here on this footage, right click on it, and then go here on this branding mode and then choose screen. So guys, when I play my video, okay, this is how it is. So for now, for this grow, I just want to put it where the gun fire is, okay? So first here, I'm going to use an opacity <clears throat> for disappearing this, this glow, which is on this frame, okay? Guys, before we add an opacity, I'm going to add, first I'm going to mask where this grow it will be, okay? So now I'm going to use this pen tool, okay? I'm going to mask the front where my 
ಅಧಿಕಾಂಶ this is it's like in a highlight of these gun shot okay this gun fire okay so now open up this this layer and then go here on the mask and then open up this mask i'm going to make this mask feather just like this okay so now i'm done to, for adding these these masking so now first for here i have two bullets okay this is one and then sorry yeah this is one this is one and then this is the second one so now let me extend this timeline okay this is my bullet okay so now i will jump backward i will jump one frame backward okay so now i will open up the an opacity for here on this transform i will add some keyframe which was on, which is on 100 and then i will jump backward one frame okay and then and then i will put it zero the keyframe it will be add automatically okay for this one shot okay let me move behind for one frame okay this is how it is okay so when the gunshot is ending i have to add zero again for this opacity then the reflection or the highlight will be disappeared so now i have to find the second one for this second gun for the second gunfire okay so let me put it here 100 yeah this is cool when i jump one frame forward there i will put it zero again zero again the frame will be added automatically so now let me pray and let me see how is it okay okay you see how this frame how this effect is guys okay yeah this is cool so now let me this is for one one effect okay so now i can duplicate again with ctrl press d So now after this, so let me, for here, this transform, let me add a 100, okay? Just like this, okay? So now I will jump the back, what one flame, okay? So let me put it zero. The keyframe will be added, add automatically. Then I will jump one, two, okay? Two frame just forward then i will put zero the keyframe it will be add automatically so now when i pray okay just like this this is cool man okay let me do it for the rest the last one okay so now again i will duplicate this area control press d let me extend because it is on the top of this this fired bullet this bullet fire okay so now i'm going to find where my fire it is this one okay so now again i'm going to mask well this this subject where the high sorry the high right the all oh, where the fire light I'm done. So now let me add a 100 here on this transform opacity. Let me add 100. This is cool. Uh -huh. So now let me jump one frame backward just like this. 
Let me put it to zero. Okay. Then I will jump two forward, two frame forward. Okay. Then again, I will put it to zero. So now when I play one, okay, this is cool. So now let me play the whole video. Yeah, this is cool guys. Okay. So now I'm going to add the smoke, okay. The smoke, let me add the smoke video. This one too. Let me put it up here. This is, <laughs> this is the smoke I'm going to use. Guys, you see where the smoke is? It's going on this side, but remember my bullet is going for this side, sorry. It's going on this side, okay? So now first I have to rotate this smoke by right click here on this smoke. Just go here on the transform, then click here on flip horizontal the smoke is rotating just like this okay so now guys you see the smoke is on black screen so now you have to click here on normal then choose here on the screen okay so now click s on your keyboard for scaling this is a uh, smoke and then i have to find where my gun it is and i have to put sorry I have to put this smoke just here, okay? And then remember guys, I have to rotate again this smoke just like this. Okay. So now let me pray. Let me show you it. Yeah, guys, I think you see the smoke remains, okay? So now let me duplicate this smoke again. I have to put it here. this gunfire yeah let me put it here just like this okay then let me duplicate again let me put here on this last on this last gunfire yeah guys this is cool so now let me play the whole video Yeah man, this is how you can add this gun shoot fire on your frame. Yeah guys, thanks for watching. This is how you can do this effect. Very simple guys. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe, leave your thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. Yeah man, but make sure if this video is very helpful to you, okay? and stay creative. Peace.